Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Bill. So Bill, today what we're talking about, you don't even know what we're talking about nope. yet, but what we're talking about today is, you know for months, probably over a year, when everybody else in the, in the country is like, oh, this, the real estate market is crashing, and we're like, what are you talking about the real estate market yep. is crashing? Here in Florida, we were rocking and rolling, and people in Texas, I was hearing the same thing, they were rocking and rolling. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we did a video a couple of months ago saying, wait a second, we're starting to see some cracks in the real estate market here in Florida. Yep. Is it a real crack or is it going to be a maybe crack? But today's video is mm -hmm. about the crack happened, the earthquake happened, <laughs> in my opinion. And we're going to talk about this article, but I think that the collapse started in florida maybe you know collapses don't happen overnight and i know you disagree with a lot of this that's why it's good that you're doing this video mm -hmm. but i think there's so many people on the sidelines that are afraid to pull the trigger on like i talk to a lot of realtors and they're mm -hmm. saying yeah yeah i have buyers and i show them houses but they just don't want to do it for some reason mm -hmm. i understand that you know, and it could be, yes, it could be rates, you blame it on interest rates, but a lot of them think that the market is going to crash. And I don't think it's going to be an 07, 08, 09 kind of thing again. Oh God, no. Okay, no. but there's plenty of people saying that it's going to be an 07, 08 repeat. Okay. Okay, so well, let's see what this, <laughs> this article is about. Florida housing market stagnant and in shambles as house as housing costs rise okay that yeah that's a fact all right so that's a fact yeah housing costs are rising insurance cost of the house itself cost of building a house cost of repairing a house everything's going up and that's why you know we did another video saying you know that between the nar lawsuit and realtors there's gonna be a lot of changes going on soon especially here in florida because they're a lot of people bought second homes in Florida that are now putting them up for sale. The last five inspections I did, mm -hmm. the homes were empty because they were out of state owners. Mm, okay. Okay, so that's telling me it's like, all right, wait a second, this is an out of state owner that's selling the house. So they're dumping it for some reason. And some of them, two of them, have only had the house for like a year or two. Think about that one. So let's talk, let's read this article. In the meantime, do me a favor. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and it's greatly appreciated. Bill, why don't you start us off? All right. Homes currently for sale in the state remain on the market longer, while those looking to purchase a home are showing some resistance to entering the market. Uh, that is hampered by high mortgage rates, expensive homeowners insurance costs, and elevated prices. I agree with that. I agree with that. So insurance homeowners insurance is stupid ridiculous like I, I get it um there's luckily we do have some people coming into the market now so hopefully we'll see some easing of the insurance rates but again just like anything it always takes time it's not like it just happens and then fixes but but things that you know some people are going bare that basically you know without insurance they're buying the house in cash and they're like hey we're rolling the dice right or some people or what they're doing is they don't have a mortgage but they still want insurance and they get a la carte they get fire theft and liability yeah. and one of the people and i priced this out too so the insurance was like say six thousand dollars for homeowners insurance you take off wind okay i'm not an insurance agent i'm just telling you what people told me and my experience too right it dropped down from six thousand to about fifteen hundred bucks for fire theft and liability right yeah you're screwed if we get hit by a hurricane but and citizens not to keep harping this on this <laughs> insurance thing but citizens just got an approval for them to raise their premiums yeah, i think it was 14 percent Right, because they don't want people. This is the less. It's the insurance of last resort. Right, they're trying to get back to the insurance of last resort. All right, it took up a lot of your time, so go for it. <laughs> That's it. We got plenty of that. <laughs> Mortgage rates are still up. That's no secret there. They've come down a touch, but again, the Fed hasn't done a, re a major reduction. But you see how like interest rates do come up and down, you know, uh, as the days go on. 
but we're still hopeful that hopefully by the end of this year, we'll get at least a little tiny reduction, which will push some stimulation back into the market again. You know, and the whole thing is on the on that part of it, mm -hmm. if the feds lower the rate, they're not gonna lower, say they, they lower it in the September meeting or whatever, whenever that is, it's gonna look political. I don't even think they're gonna do any rate cuts this year, but unemployment's ticking up, so maybe they will. Right, and they did, uh, they had their meeting the other day and they kind of, a little off-cuff meeting and they did make some announcements. So they kind of dangled the carrot a little bit that there was some improvement. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, and they're, kinda, was, uh, they're setting the tone, in my opinion, you know, for September. Yeah, because I, I think, you know, with unemployment, I think somebody just said, I didn't verify this, but somebody said that unemployment jumped from 3.2 to 4.1. Is it true? I don't know. You guys let me know. I haven't looked yeah, that part up Yeah, I don't know. I haven't yet. looked that up either. But go ahead. Single family home sales in Florida are down 0.5% from 2023. Condos, townhouses are down 9% and the number of listing and prices continue to skyrocket. One expert places some of the blame on insurance rates, which despite being a necessary step in a home buying process, don't match the budget for most home buyers as they calculate the cost to purchase a new home. Uh, high taxes, home buyers in the Southern state. So taxes you can't get away from, so let's just right there. We're, we're not gonna fix that because it's across the board, yeah. right? We, 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 Taxes are stupid anyway. Taxes are taxes. Yeah. We can't do any, those aren't coming down. So, <clears throat> but home, single family home sales, yes, are down. But 0.5 only, according to this. Right, 0.5%. So it's not like we're crashing and it's the volume of sales that are down. So we still have a good half of the year to go. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, inventory is building up because there's more, the house is staying on the market much longer. Correct. I'm sure this article will address that. Yep. But condos are crashing, okay? Condos are crashing because, in my opinion, they're crashing because of the special assessment, the condo new sales. rules, condo sales. Yeah, condo sales are definitely crazy slow. Would you say they're crashing? I don't use the word crashing because everybody takes that word out of context. What would you say? It's a very popular word these days, okay. crash. Would, would you say that condos are in trouble for the sales? Come on, give me something. They're in trouble. I can, I can show you buildings, even in just clear water, that the, home, the condos have been sales for months and everybody's just doing price cut after price cut after price cut. So you just spent a month in a building. Okay, I'm sure you looked at seeing what was for sale. I went and saw every house for sale in that building. All right, so <laughs> do you think that, the, all right, I won't use the word crashing, but give me another word to use. Yeah, home sales are slowing to almost uh, icy condo, condo homes. Yeah, they're still homes. They're still homes. Condo homes are slowing to like an icy crawl. So that's a new word, icy? I'm gonna use icy. Yeah, I wanna change it up a little bit, an icy crawl. Listen, some of it is boiling down to assessments, right? Some of it is due to milestone reports because they need to get caught up um, on maintenance and building repairs, et cetera. Like up and down where we were, condo after condo after condo was getting repaired. You know, they had the guys out on scaffolds. They, it was, there was a ton of repair going on um, for the month where we were at in the general area. Um, we were at somewhere around like 146% was an absorption rate, which is how many buyers are buying condos versus that are for sale. Now we're back down into the mid 40s, which is a crazy slow number. Icy, okay, that's what you were, right. it, icy. It's, it's icy. It's icy. icy. All right. But the problem is with a lot of folks, when we're selling, people still, when you're selling, and I get it, when you, the, the hurdle is when you're selling, you always want to look back and you want to get the most money for your house, right? Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you have the best condo. Of course, your condo is the best condo on the planet. There's no better condo. Right. It may not have any doors, but it's the best it's the condo. the best condo. And when you buy a house, of course, you want it at the lowest price, but yeah. you don't get the best of both worlds. Yeah, that room needs repainting. Could you give me $5,000 off? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, because things, so pricing too high because you saw a condo. Well, Susie down the hall sold the condo for, you know, 50 grand more than what you're telling me my condo is worth today. Well, because the prices were inflated back then and somebody bought it. Well, maybe somebody will come and buy it. I hear, I've literally heard this this week. So, it's a numbers thing. But it is just that, is that work. housing market, in your opinion, icy? Gosh. No. 
icy. No crash, no crash. <laughs> All right, I'm continuing. With condos, with condos. All right. Home insurance has become so expensive oh in Florida that homeowners are having trouble affording the high premiums, <laughs> which is what we, you know, yep. agree. NerdWallet home mortgage expert Holden Lewis in an interview with Newsweek, a lot of owners are listing their homes for sale so they can buy or rent a place that's affordable, mm -hmm. which is inventory, and that's why inventory is rising. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, buyers are cautious as they factor in insurance costs in their home purchase decision. As they that's, should. That's true. Like when you, you know, there's such, people from out of state, they come here and they go buy a house and they're like, hey, I saw this home on Zillow and the insurance is only 3,500 bucks. Which I don't even know why they put. I have no. Idea. I have no idea why they even put the taxes, because in Florida that means nothing. No. You're, you're not going to be paying thirty five hundred dollars if that's what it's listed on Zillow. Take that and just throw that away. It's going to be reassessed for what you pay for it or the current value, and it depends on if you homestead it and everything. Your taxes. Your taxes, but your taxes are going to be higher. Yeah. Okay. No doubt about it. But. What you what I like about you is you tell the people, oh, you want that place near the water? You want that place in that area? You know, before we even make an offer, why don't you call your agent and get an insurance mm -hmm. price? Yep. That's one thing that I see a lot of realtors don't do. And I think it's a mistake for realtors not mm -hmm. to do it because they're killing their own deal later on. So they're getting right. all excited. These yeah. realtors are getting excited. Yep. <clears throat> because I know for a fact, because I get, when I have cancellation for insur uh, for home inspections, I say, hey, why did they cancel? Oh, they found out that the insurance is going to be X amount of dollars, and it was a week later. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, why didn't you tell them to find out what the insurance is going to be beforehand, before you even made an offer, which you could, and you go to the county website and find out what the taxes are estimated going to be. Yep. So that's my two. So I know I'm ranting a lot. That's okay, but that's important. Those are things that we do and that everybody should do, whether your realtor tells you or not. Go to the county. I can't, at least in our area, every county here just clicks estimate your taxes and estimate your taxes. They'll tell you what it's going to be based off of what your offer is on the house. All right. With some of the highest growth of active listings throughout the nation, Florida cities like Tampa ranked number one. Ooh, I didn't know that. In the listings where their owners place homes on the market, Orlando is in number three spot, while Jacksonville is ranked in number five. Did you know that Tampa was number one? With the amount of houses listed? No. Interesting. Hmm. That's interesting. Due to the high amount of listing, Hale says homes are sitting on the market longer, yet isn't stopping current homeowners from putting their homes up for sale. You agree or disagree? Some little contradictory stuff here, but yeah, no, I agree. Um, People that need to sell, sell their house. It's just, if you've got to move, I see a lot of that, that are people relocating, where they have to sell. It's not a, I want to sell, it's a, I have to sell. But here's, here's That's the some, majority of things. Here's something interesting, and this is one of my neighbors. <laughs> so two of my neighbors, basically, were selling houses. Yep. And one of them just, wa one of them just wanted out. Right. So they priced their house. <laughs> I know where you're going with this. They priced their house <laughs> way under what I think they should have priced right. it out. So they sold it within one day. Yep. Within one day they sold it. Now the other neighbor got pissed off. Of course. So now their comps went down because it's they're kind of the same kind of house. Right. In, in the sense. And they're right next to each other. So mm -hmm. the, of course any appraiser is going to use that comp. Because same number of bedrooms, bathrooms, same size, basically, all that stuff. Now, that person had to take it off the market because they got so frustrated because the realtor came back and said, hey, listen, we're not going to sell this house unless you lower it to 60, 70,000. They're like, you know what? Just take it off the market. Do you think that's going to be a, a thing that people that could afford just to dump their homes is going to affect the people that can't afford to dump their homes? That's always been a thing, though. But people, do you, do you think it's going to get worse that. causing the icy Florida, the icy Florida, uh, icy Florida market. Uh, I can't really predict that. I think people will sell their house for what it's worth, and they'll sell their house for what to fit their situation. If they've got to move and they don't have a choice and they have to sell their house, they're going to sell their house. Look at some of these people who buy sell houses. Excuse me, to like Open Door and these things. Those are sold at a super low. Nobody complains to them, and then Open Door fixes it up, turns around, and sells it again. So in the interim of fix up and relist, 
there's that window where the comp is there. You see what I'm saying? So I, I, no, it's I, always this, been there. It's not. This is not but, anything but, that's new. But you think is you think it's going to get worse? No, I think it's always been there. I think it's like most things that everybody is paying attention to real estate right now, and everybody's hypersensitive about everything. And to be quite honest, like a lot of people list their properties a little too high. You really have to dig into these numbers and really understand that market, you know, and that means like your specific neighborhood market, not three neighborhoods over, but your neighborhood. It doesn't matter what somebody did a mile down the road. All right, several, several factors contribute to the current market, especially as the state of many retirees who are often willing to wait on the market a while longer compared to some new home, buyer, new home buyers entering the space for the first time. Yeah, I mean, some retirees, look, look at the property you're selling for me. You're like, hey, nobody's calling for it. You're, you even said to me, hey, you're overpriced. And I'm like, I don't, I don't care. care. <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 me, let me know when it's back up. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> While the current housing market appears to be in shambles, the most recent U.S. housing market crash occurred in 07 and 2009 with its most impactful moments occurring in 2008. The same year led to one of the primary causes of the global financial crisis, weakening havoc on the financial stability of entire economics of the world over. So let's just stop there for, mm -hmm. let's stop there. Do you think, I saw three videos pop up on YouTube in the last five days, mm -hmm that their title said, hey, this is 07, 08, over again. I don't see that. Maybe we should do a video, this is 07, 08, over again. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a good trend, you know? But, we'll get some clicks, but honestly, I just don't see that. I Because I, it's not a mortgage crisis this time. Correct, like, I mean, yes, fundamentally, there's complete differences. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, no, about. subprime, sorry, yeah. it wasn't, it's a subprime, it was a subprime problem. Anybody yeah. with a heart rate, Heartbeat, yeah. yeah, you could get a mortgage. And they were predatory lending. There was so many things regulatorily wise that have been fixed now, so we can't really go back to that. But what, what I think their context is trying to be in regards to is home sitting. When I start to see short sales and foreclosures go up to those levels, then we're gonna have a different conversation. But right now, that's not where we're at. So as of today, shooting this video, do you think, I know you think the condo market is, is icy. icy? It's definitely icy, that is no doubt about that. Townhouse market, you know, so-so, and the regular housing market, do you think it's fine? No, we're slow, we, we're still slow. Everybody is comparing everything to two years ago when we had the most sales, real estate sales in history. So coming off of that, yes, it looks like the world is ending. But if you go back before that, we're, yes, last year we're a million shorter than we were on our normal average. And a million sales is a lot of sales. And we're losing realtors like left and right. right. That's a whole separate subject. Yeah, but, but it's a separate subject, but it's an indicator that they're not selling homes. But, right, a lot but of them how got many of you got into real estate when the market was hot and easy? That's true. You know what I mean? Like it was those classes, there were lines out the door to get to real estate school. So, I won't even continue in this article because it makes a lot of points, but the whole thing is, do you think affordability is going to get any better in Florida? Not anytime soon, unfortunately. I hate to say that, but there's, there's so many factors contributing to the affordability. It's very difficult right now. The number one is interest rates, and that's going to take, I don't care, we can hope and pray and wish and whatever, but at the end of the day, interest rates are gonna take a good amount of time to come down. Just because the Fed lowers rates, hopefully Q4, doesn't mean that instantaneously our interest rates are gonna go back no, to three and four percent. I, I, like I, I think them I lowering the that. rates a quarter percent. It's gonna be a big mean, deal. But I don't think it's gonna do really much. But they don't want it to do much because we, again, like we've oh, talked about, like, oh, we, like, we don't want these big giant waves, right? We don't want the tsunami, if, we want a ripple. If interest rates, hit double digits, say 10%, game over, your job is gone, my job is gone, nobody's buying nothing, okay, because it's psychological. Right. If interest rates hit five and a half, six percent, then game on. It's oh, going yeah. to be crazy. Yep. 
so and then the prices of the homes are going to go up because all the people that are sitting on the sidelines that are all pent up, which I totally agree with, they're going to come flooding back so into the market. I know you love this term, um, buy the house, marry the oh, rate. Jesus, God, no. All right, that's it. Cut the video. I'm out. <laughs> but that's what people are saying. Ugh. So basically, if rates go down to 5%, a lot more people are going to jump in the market. Correct. Here's my opinion. Is the Florida housing market stagnant? I think it is. It's very, very slow. It really is. Okay. I, you know, yeah, all I joking do. aside and calling it icy and da 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 da. I think it is. Do I think it's going to get worse? Yes. I think because the election year is going to come up. Mm -hmm. This is my prediction. Okay. Yep. And putting it on video as of today. I think the market's going to not be that great the rest of 24. After the election, I think the beginning of 25, for six months, I think the economy is going to crash. Okay, like stock market. I just think things will get bad. I don't care who's president. Then I think by later on in 25 and 26 is going to be great. It's all going to come back. But I think we're, we're at the beginning of a rough period. That's my prediction as of today. I think that we do have to survive until we get into the 25, 26 period. And then we're going to start seeing a gradual increase back to better times. Yeah. <clears throat> because think about it, like it doesn't matter the, the day the new president gets elected, whomever it is, it's not like they wave the magic wand and then things no, change. No. It takes months and months and months for a policy just you to know, get pushed. If, if Trump wins, you know, it's, it's going to be like, oh, and he crashes, it's going to be like, oh, it's Biden. Look what he did for the last three or four years. If, right. if Biden wins or whoever win, wins, <laughs> right. um, you know, they're going to say, well, okay, we're going to fix it. You know, it's going to take a little while and they're going to hope that, you know, people forget about it after two years. Right. And if Biden is the, is the nominee and he wins, what does it matter? He, he's not getting. He's not going for it. Right. Exactly. I just think. I just we, think we have a rough, a rough road. We, we have, have a rough, rough road, road ahead. No matter what, we will see a little bit better. What we're seeing is the values of the homes aren't coming down. The prices are coming down. So what I mean by that is, I'm trying to think of it in a very easy way to say it, but it's not like just because somebody drops their price that the home value is going into the negative, right? Because we're still up. The nation is still up. Mm -hmm. Year over year, on a rolling 12, we're still up. I, think I want to say, it was, don't quote me on the percentage, but it was like four or more percent year over year. Yeah, like Zillow right now literally sent me an email in my area that uh, prices increase forecast is now down to 0 0.03 or something like that. Right, yeah, the, the price it, it, it was 3.5 three months ago, and now they're almost at zero. Which I would completely expect. Because during the summer months, now I don't know all these statistics, like I'm not, I don't, I'm not a statistician, but during the summer months is when we actually have a slower increase in values. Yeah. It doesn't, just because it says it's what, 0.03 or something, what you said, but it doesn't, that just means that your home value is going up by 0.03. Yeah. Once it goes negative, we'll definitely do a video on that yeah. part. But, but that just, same. but you're, you'll see there's well, plenty you, of data you, like what that. What do you guys think? You know, um, what do you guys think? You think the housing market, or if you live in Florida or own in Florida, do you think that we're in trouble? Uh, you think that people are making a bigger deal than things are? So that's my opinion. We like to see, hear your opinion. And do me a favor, check out this video over here. It's a really good video and it'll make a lot of sense. All right, and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out this channel and it's greatly appreciated. And you have nothing else to add? Nope, we're good. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. All right, thank you. We'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.